Hey guys, welcome to another Media and Art video. Today we are doing a special how to draw a jack-o'-lantern. We, we're with Weirdo Gaming and Cubing. Please subscribe to him. Yes, And we're please. also with an, with an eight-year-old. And today we're gonna be doing jack-o'-lantern. Let's get into it. All right, so. so first you are going to draw the curve over here on this side. So if I like lean the page over on this side, I will be so. doing it straight up, so you get uh, upwards, and then you get a side. Yeah. So first here, we are going to be doing a strip down, you know, the little knob on it. Oh, I thought we were doing the side of it. Whatever. All right, you just want two in two lines that kind of are bent a little bit. So like this. Yeah, or like this. And if you guys end up liking this video, we will be doing more how to draws. Also, he's got an editor now. Yes, I do. All right. So, we have mine, we got Weirdo Gamings, and we got Eight Year Old. Not Weirdo Gamings. Don't forget the and cubing, or else it's the wrong channel. All right. So, we're just going to do a little bit wiggly lines across. And then after we do that, we want to put some lines down to make it look more realistic, you know? All right, so three lines, two little bent, and one straight. All right, so like after you get that. It should look like that. Yes, and after you do that, you can do some little special effect lines if you want to to make it look a little bit more realistic. That's only if you want to. I will be doing that. I will too. So it should look like this when you're... Or this. Yeah, pour All right. So after that, we are going to be drawing the pumpkin base. So right here, we're going to do a big little bump here. Then another bump. And then another bump. So after you do three bumps, I'll put wait and pause here. Then I'll do the other side. One bump. Two bump. Three bump. I'll wait for you to catch up. Whoa, you're doing the big old pumpkin, aren't you? Yep. And so it I wasn't look... talking to you, I was talking oh. to you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. So it should wow. look something wow. like this or from the side like that. Alright, now we're just gonna do a big line across. And for my mistake, you don't wanna make it look too bendy on the side here. You kinda wanna make it Look more like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah so yeah, like yeah. like his big the, the eight pumpkin. the eight the eight, eight year old is beating us right now. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> not really a competition. Yeah. All right. So now you want to go around, and right here we're just gonna you're, do. Yeah, you're gonna make like a dip. A little, a little so dip like, here. So like, no, so like this, like sort of like. A small indent like that. As you guys can see, I did make so, a little mistake right here. I had it go a little bit too far out, but so that is okay. It should look something like this, this, or this. Yeah, so we got, uh, so just a reminder, this is median art, okay? This is weirdo gaming and cubing, and this is... Yeah, all right. So while they're doing that, we will be doing a Jackie Lantern. Remember, we have special little cool eyes and a mouth. And we also kind of want to make it glow with the shading we're going to do later. So now we just kind of wanted to do this. Okay. Just to make it look like, you know, the, the stem is all out with the rest of it. Should look something like this or that. You're just pretty good. All right, so uh, we are going to be doing, now we're going to be doing the Some, cool eyes. So you can now, do any eyes. You guys can do any eyes, any mouth. You can even add a nose if you like. You got, We should add a nose. Yeah. I'm not going to add a nose. I'm just going to I'm, I'm gonna do this. All right, so right here, I'm going to do a curve here like this. 
You can follow Median Art, which is me, or main person. Weirdo Gaming and Cubing, or the eight year old. Or you can do your own face. Yes, you can do your own if you guys like. Totally up to you. <laughs> you doing the basic cubes? I mean, triangles? Yep. All right. I'm doing, I'm doing creepy mode. My Spider-Man memory eyes aren't too good. My memory of Spider-Man eyes aren't too good. Whoa. All right. Now. So now what, while Median Art is catching up, now you are going to color in your eyes and stuff with mostly black but don't color in the whole thing with black because we're going to show you how to do a cool lighting effect later so yeah. sort of like the outskirts of it you're going to sort of like do little things like that with black so i did a little bit of a tongue here a little I'm bit of a, make my whole thing black a little bit of a happy face you know it's just to cheer up the kids on Halloween night. Even even it's because it's supposed to be spooky. I'm still doing it happy. And that is okay. So, I actually am going to do an additional tooth here. And I'm going to be doing... Also, you don't have here. to do the lighting effects later. You can do what um, you want, the eight-year-old is doing, or you can do like your own, like green or purple. I'm making mine evil. Why are you doing little lines on yours? I don't. It's so, not like you are. Either. I'm gonna do like, little little bunny tooth. Oh, look at my teeth. Okay, <laughs> this, the eight-year-old has gone mad. So next, we are gonna be doing. A line across, and a line across, and a line across. Basically, you're doing lines across on them. Is your little grandpa? So, you can do lines across to make it look more realistic. And if you want, you can add a candle into the middle. Like, I'm going to be adding a candle right here. I don't on have the any tongue. room for my candle. Mine's a little piece. I'm going to be doing a little tongue right here. Yours looks good, Media. Thank you. So does yours. Thanks. I'm going to be doing a little fire on that candle there. Or you can wait for the... You can wait for the coloring step to draw a candle yes. in there. Yes. Because these, the markers that we're using currently are pretty thick. Or if you're They're going thick boys, man. Thick boys. All right. Or, next, or if you're going to be doing our colors, and our colors, you know, the basic orange we have right here. This is looks very Halloweeny. Actually, first, shouldn't we continue our lines to be like? more realistic and so like i sure. yeah like continue our lines down the whole pumpkin so like yeah you so can just like you know or, you, can, or you don't have to put a candle and follow my instructions i'm gonna do no, one of these they're not gonna follow your okay doesn't yeah matter. you can you definitely can follow those you can do any ones you want if you want a really scary pumpkin that looks evil follow my instructions you can do the lines. I am personally doing this design, so it should look something like the three of those, or, well, the face will be modified, but you can do whatever you want. You can make the lines look really weird, like what I'm doing here. Or you can even just have no lines and make it like a cartoon pumpkin. Yes, you can. So now I'm gonna be doing some orange. You guys can go ahead and grab your orange colors. Uh, you guys who are watching the video, if you have orange, that would be awesome. So my orange here is kind of an orangish yellow. And this kind of looks very pumpkin doesn't it? Yeah. I'm doing a darker orange. Also, I'm going to not shade in the stem. Well, don't do that unless you want a very odd looking pumpkin. 
All right, so then you want your green and a reef color. You guys probably don't have reef colors. If you do, then that's awesome. Or you can use salmon, uh, which is what I'm or, using. Or you can, which the salmon is, you can do something else. Yeah, I'm just doing this for the stem. And you know how stems are kind of green too? You can do that, right? You just fade it in with the set. Also, if you make a mistake, roof. you can always like revert to another piece of paper. Yeah, and then you want to add this salmon right here with the reefy color. So now you just kind of want to shade it into the salmon or reef. Shade it in a little bit, and then you can do shade it in with this color, you know, just mixing it up. All right, that, does, that is not a good shading, but whatever. Okay, now I'm just going to make the shading look a little bit better. All right, perfect. So now we are going to start doing a coloring here. We're just coloring it in the basic orange colors. And you if can you do guys. Whatever color you like. Like, you don't even need to follow our instructions for color. Yeah. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And, it's, and it's free. Make, and make sure to like the video and check out Weirdo Gaming and Cuban channel. So, do this. You just get the basic light orange. Oh. You want to press on it light. Okay, so this happened. Okay, that's kind of, that's kind of sad. But, all right, no one, want, no one cares. And once I finish my orange, I'm gonna show you guys if you want if you're following my instructions for the scary one. After I finish my orange, I'm gonna show you how to make your pumpkin look even scarier. The funnest part is you guys can make whatever you want and enjoy anything you guys want. You can add whatever stuff you guys want to add to your drawing. If you want, you can put Mickey Mouse here. Yeah, you could. Like, just use your imagination. If you do, I kind of want to see the Mickey Mouse. Here's how they turned out. I'm doing a really, I'm doing advanced lighting. This is just simple for right now. I'm going to get more into it later in the video. So stay tuned to see how I make it look amazing. Also, for the people who haven't clicked off the video and are about to check out Weirdo Gaming Cubing, don't forget to watch this video all the way through first. That way you can see like what happens next rather than just losing the video. Yes, please do that, you guys. Sorry for not mentioning that earlier in the video for the people who have already done it. <laughs> all right, so after you get the basic, you know, look what I read. Kind of moonish. Then uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna start doing the lightning effects for the eyes. So right now I'm just gonna do a simple. So you know how you can see like the inside of a pumpkin. So for how you're gonna do that, you're just gonna. Uh, you you don't have to do. I'm not gonna do an inside of a pumpkin. I'm just gonna literally do it very light for the eyes. Okay. I'm just gonna do the tutorial. How okay. to make yours a little scarier? First, you want to grab your red. And, no, you're not doing it. Not to tell you. I'm just saying. First. All right. So I'm gonna be doing eyes shading. I'm gonna do some red on the bottom here, because you know how the light fades in. And for the candle, definitely red it on red or orange if you like. Okay, and then the candle, you can leave it white. Personally, I'm going to try to do it a gray or silver color. Just so you know, it doesn't look like something normally. And then, I'm going to be, so this is a lighting effect so far. I'll make it look better later. Um, if you want it more yellow, then you could just definitely go and add more yellow like this. Personally, love this eye right now, not really towards the, this one. And then right here you can add a little bit more red to make it look like the fires uh, or the candle lighting is at the bottom towards more. And then you can definitely add a lot of lighting on the bottom here. You can kind of do this on the tongue. 
if you're doing if you are doing what I'm doing then you could definitely just do a tongue like this and you guys can color it however you want like you could you don't even need the candle you can just do the cool lighting effects and call it a day like with the yeah. candles like behind one of these nooks and crannies yep so here we are just making it a little bit more like a fire color all right, so if you just like the basic red, then you can just draw it all red in. But what I want to do is I'm going to make it a little bit orange at the top, you know, and really get that flame up. Really draw it red next to the flame just to make it look a little bit more realistic here. And I'm not done with the body yet, the outside base. I'm still gonna color it more of an orange color like this one here. Um, and um, if you're doing what I'm doing, I'm just not coloring the the top set um yellow because you can see so you can see both sets of teeth better. Yes. You can do both yellow or just both white if you want to. All right. So now you can just put in the orange a little bit more. Can I see your orange real quick? Yeah. Thank you just to blend in also you can put in like green little spots to, yes because to earlier i got a pumpkin and it was like all green and orange and it looked yeah pretty cool more so realistic can, yeah so like that's what i'm doing right here like i'm adding spots of little yes. green. if you're coloring all red which i'm gonna do real quick right here just add more red feature into it that way you can literally just blend in so much orange. It'll look so realistic. But if you want to do cartoon, totally awesome. Then you can kind of do what eight-year-old's doing over there. More towards that. And I just really want to blend in the orange in here right now. I'm currently going to start on my candle. I'm going to make it this cool purpley color so i'm gonna kind of right. for those who don't didn't trace it with the black here's it i'm gonna back. sort of come up on one of the areas and then yes like make a pretty wide candle i'm doing it at a corner personally think i think weirdo gaming's beating it me to it for now but he has not done any lighting yet which i focused on the color like you know the base first base yes first. also you can add a cool candle wick and make the yes. flames coming off the comment back. down below what you guys want us to draw next and I we will... will do a how-to if if this video gets to 30 likes yes 30 likes then we will do another how-to well no it depends i'll i'll pick a if I'll determine if it gets enough. Uh, in the, in the comments, we'll say if there's a part two with the with a different how to. Yes. So please, please keep uh, watching. Can I borrow that yellowish orange real quick? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah. Can I just call it? Oh yes. Uh, can I, I don't know what? Yeah. Four. All right. Um. I'm just, you can start just adding a little bit more like orangish texture to it, you know? Or like a pumpkin here. I put like a cool flame burning to one side because maybe the wind's blowing. Yes. And then. Can I see that color? Alright, so now you just wanna really push it in here. So. If you were doing my tutorial, uh, I am almost done with the lighting colors. I promise you guys the lighting is going to look way better than what this is now. Or if you like, actually, if you like me doing it, I'm going to leave it like this. If you guys want me to do part two by myself where I just make the lighting look better, Comment down below, and that way I'll know if you guys want me to. And also, if you want me to...
technical difficulties with the pencil sharpener. I guess we could just like, just a, uh, never mind. No, um, we can just like hold this over there. All right. So this man's trying to fix a pencil sharpener over here. You guys have a pencil sharpener and you never told me, dude. Oh. I went all around the house looking for the electric one. All right, so I'm just gonna add more of that orange color over here. I need this pen. No, I need one pencil. That is not how you. Well, it's the sharpener broke, and so if you see someone sharpening their pencil back, then we just had some technical difficulties. All right. So I am so close, but yet so far because of this pencil here. It very has no tip. And so I'm really trying to bug it. I'm gonna go sharpen it real quick here. So yeah, um, we'll just be doing this. Also, if you want to see some art on Weirdo Gaming and Cubing, I can definitely do that. Just comment on one of my videos, any of my videos, and I'll reply saying, okay, if I see it. I will be checking for all y'all comments all the time. Don't be, don't be like, hey, he's not commenting after like the first hour because it might take me about a day to two days to comment back. Usually not, usually take me like um, a couple hours to a day. For me, I don't check my comments all the time, and so it might take like a day to two days, but yes. I will still comment and reply. All right, so now let's get back onto that orangish color track so now we're going to be doing the orange tint so you guys can see the bot my bottom here the orange tint that's there so let's just uh keep doing that for now all right and then you can start to fade it out right here kind of if you don't want it anymore like you just fade it out but if you guys want to keep on going with the orange then that's totally awesome All right, and then you can really add that orange on the bottom there to make it look like different colors. So yeah, and then fire it up. Beautiful, all right. Also, if you want, you don't, do you don't, you, you can also like do yellow and all of those co like orangish reddish colors. Yeah, depends on you. On your pumpkin, that way it looks like more realistic. Like right now, I'm shading in some yellow and some stuff. All right, so I'm almost about done. I think pumpkin so far looking pretty good. Or shall I say jack-o'-lantern? We should have done this on Halloween. <laughs> but whatever. Yes. All right, so. I, I think got I am just about done. Um, I'm going to be using some green. Just like Weirdo Gaming was saying, to add some green spots on the top a little bit. You know. I'm going to do it all around the body but I'm just gonna do it on the top and then have more of a ripe I'm pumpkin take, on the bottom. I am gonna take this cool green color and start like making the stem look a little bit more like all right it is good. more alive now all right 
And if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm just putting some spikes or decals or stuff like that on my the eight year old. Just make it a little better. Just make it a little fancy. All right, so. Alright, so that will about wrap it up after we just color in. They color in a little bit more. I, I think, think I'm about done. done. You're done? Yep. Alright, so oh, thank wow, you. Oh, wow, the eight-year-old's name looking pretty yeah. good. Alright, so thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Median Art, and also check out Weirdo Gaming Cubing and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below which one thing you think is better. See you next time.